is anyone else experiencing nervous system issues from the newer myeloma treatments? Well, the quick answer is yes, unfortunately. Historically, we haven't always understood it, but there is a bit of a, can I call it a mysterious connection between myeloma and the nervous system. We don't always understand exactly how it happens, but very often patients, even before they're treated, for example, may have neuropathy. We know that some of the treatments that we give can worsen uh, the nerves. We know that a lot of the newer treatments we're giving, like CAR T-cell therapy and bispecific antibodies, uh, can cause neurological effects. Sometimes they're short-term, very limited things. Sometimes in the long-term, they can be severe, even as severe as things like Parkinson's. So this is an, an active area of work and research and one that we're trying to understand better so that we can reduce those toxicities. We've learned that a few important principles are very helpful to us. As always, we need to talk to our patients very carefully about what symptoms they have, and you need to share with your doctor what symptoms you're having, if it's numbness, if it's burning, if it's tingling, visual changes, just about anything that you can think is neurologically, talk to your doctor about it. Two, we've learned that some of our treatments can cause neuropathy, things like bortezomib and in the older days, thalidomide, and we can make dose adjustments or even discontinue some of those treatments to help improve the neurological outcomes. And more recently, with things like CAR T-cell therapy, we've learned that if we can reduce the burden of the myeloma before we give the T-cells back, we may be able to prevent some of those neurological effects or later give certain kinds of treatments to reduce those neurological symptoms once they've been.